Hello everybody, today's video is brought to you by the most persistent brand partner we've ever worked with, Wash and Go. When I think back to the first phone call I had with Mr. Wash and Go, I even said, why are you so persistent in getting me involved as an ambassador for Wash and Go? Do you know what they said? They said, because you embody everything our brand's about. And I thought, you're with it. You know what you're on about it. You're a brand about the town. Because when I think about Wash and Go, I think two in one. And when I think about myself, which isn't very often, but when I do think about it, I think, yes, two in one. Presenter. International sex symbol. I also find that Wash and Go is extremely fast and efficient as a brand to use. And, well, that's me as well. Just ask, ask Mrs. Goldbridge. You know, there's nothing I can't do too quickly. And on top of that, when I think about Twitter, I think, well, effectively, in a very watered down version, most people are replying to me saying wash and go bridge. So when I think about it, it really is a no brainer. Mark Goldbridge, wash and go and match like no other. Enjoy the clip. Two combined European Champions League 11 for this season. This is yours to do. I will tell you at the end what mine would be. And I think on the last few combined 11s we've done, I've changed three or four players every time. So it's down to you. Who they've got to have played in the Champions League this season. Who would be your Champions League goalkeeper combined 11 uh, goalkeeper this season? You could have Donnarumma at PSG. You could have Oblak at Atletico Madrid. You could go Alisson, Edison, David De Gea has been very good as well, of course. Uh, Mendy at Chelsea. There are others out there. Let's not be exclusive. Uh, uh, Courtois at Real Madrid. There's lots and lots of options. Who would you keep a be? Mark, why do you always put Chelsea in the same bracket as City and Liverpool? Haven't won the league in five years. 15 points off the top. Finished below United three years in a row. And their top four race again, says Yaza. Uh, maybe because they're Champions League holders, mate. I mean, did you see that ESPN journalist? Um, no, it wasn't him. No, it was Jake Humphreys, presenter on BT Sports, basically comparing Tuchel's record to Frank Lampard. What a prat. I mean, this is this is a guy... I mean, why should we be surprised? Mainstream media. He's just bloody... He's just media trained, isn't he, to read an auto cue? I mean, what is he talking about comparing Tuchel to Lampard? It's just ridiculous. But, you know... Is it English bias? Is it just stupidity? Mark, you should check out American college football, specifically Michigan versus Ohio State, comparable to Rangers versus Celtic, in my opinion, says Nick. Probably a little bit too, too deep for me to get into. Um, let's have a look at who you're saying for goalkeeper. A lot of people say Mendy. A few are blacks. A few Donnarumma's. A few Courtois. But I'll be honest with you, um, Alisson's now getting a few. Um, Gwendosi's not a goalkeeper, Nigel. Um, Mendy has won it. Mendy's the name that's coming up the most. So Mendy's your goalkeeper. Right, who's your right back for the Champions League? Um, look, has has Hakimi actually been that good for PSG? I don't think so. Um, who's your right back in the Champions League this season? Who would be your right back? I, I do want to see some of the more European right backs being mentioned as well. You know, I can certainly think of a few myself. Um, who would you go as your right back? Uh, a lot of people going with Trent. Mark, I'm a Liverpool fan, but I do like your channel. Uh, you're a proper entertainer, says Andrew. Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, a lot of people going with Trent here. PSG lad, says Joshua. Yeah, it's Hakimi, but I'm not convinced he's been that good in the Champions League. Uh, Trent is going to win that one then. Okay. Uh, I want you. I want your left back first. Start thinking about your centre back pairing, but I want your left back. Who is your left back? Champions League again. You've got options. I actually think the the PSG left back's done quite well. Is it Nuno Mendes? I think he's done quite well. Um, yeah. I think, again, on the continent, there's a few left backs I can think of. Um, Cancelo's an early contender. Robertson's getting a few votes. And it's Cancelo who wins that. Right, your centre-back pairings. Um, I mean, look, it's been a very Premier League start to this Champions League combined 11. Uh, remember Bayern Munich, uh, they are one of the favourites to win the tournament. And look, even if you're not the favourites, you can still have one of the best players in the world playing for you. So, 
Erling Haaland played in it as well, didn't he? So lots and lots of options there. Uh, Phil Jones and Lindelof has come out. Uh, who would be your centre-back pairings? And um, there's a lot of good centre-backs out there. So who would you go with? Marquinhos has had an early mention. Robertson says surf dudes, but it's already gone to Cancelo. Two centre-backs. Rudiger and Diaz is, is noticing uh, a few of those. Uh, again, we've got Van Dijk and Rudiger being mentioned. Of course, Varane's there as well. Thanks for being a chilled-out entertainer, says Liam. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm very wary of what you're doing, Liam. So you're not going to catch me out. Um... Militao and Van Dijk. Militao has been very good this season. Alaba has been reasonable as well at Real Madrid. Um, Marquinhos. A lot of people saying Marquinhos and Rudiger now. It's going to be a difficult one, this. Diaz and Marquinhos. It's hard to tell what people are doing. We're talking centre-back pairings. Mark, can you believe Salah is not in the FIFA Team of the Year? Don't really care, Envy. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what this FIFA Team of the Year is all about and where it's fucking come from. To me, it's an award too much. Uh, please subscribe, bottom right hand corner. Right, we're going to go Van Dyke and Markinos. Um, it's a very, very spread field, but uh, we're going to go Van Dyke and Markinos. So your back five combined 11 for the Champions League so far is Mendy, uh, Trent, Van Dyke, Markinos, Cancelo. Not a, back, not a bad back five. Right, we're going to play what we normally play. We're going to play one holding midfielder, box to box, and a, and a 10, two wide players and a forward. So who would be your holding, fee, holding midfielder from the Champions League? Quite a few to think of. Rodri, Fabinho, Jorginho. Uh, obviously, you've got... That's just from the Premier League. Um, you could choose Verratti. You could go Kimmich. You could go Goretzka. Um, you could go a Modric or a Tony Cruz or someone like that. You could go Kante. You could. There's loads you can go for. I wouldn't go for McTominay. He's not a number six anyway. Um, there's a lot of Ks coming out. Special K... Uh, there's quite a few Kantes. Uh, there's a few Casemiro's coming out as well now. Um, which is actually a C. It's interesting that people are going for Kante as a 6. Because I don't really see him as a 6. I love Kante. But I, I, I don't see Kante as a 6. But Kante is going to win. Kante wins. Um, okay. Who's your box to box player then? Uh, this is where Wayne... Um, yeah, I'm not going to read that out, Alec, as well. People are trying to catch me out with the rude combinations. Um, so Kante's won that. I swear I would have put Kante, to be honest, more box to box. Um, what are you going to go with? A lot of people going for Modric for this. Mark, what do you make of Jack Nate's video? This is Barry. Uh, I need to watch it, mate. I'm one of... A lot of people who ha hasn't seen it. Uh, not many people who hasn't seen it yet. I do need to watch it. In fact, it was go I was going to watch it as part of Goldbridge Box, um, which I might still do. You could play Kimmich box to box. You could do. Uh, Tiago. A few people saying him. Uh, I'm going to give it to um, Modric. Me and R Ritika are celebrating our anniversary today. Says Anish. You're a big part of my life. Would love your blessing on this special day. Love from India. Well, I, I'm more than happy to do that for you, Anish. Uh, all the best for you and Ritika. I hope I've pronounced that correctly on your anniversary. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Much love. Thanks for the super chat. And le thanks for letting us know. So we've got Kante and Modric as the midfield too. Not bad. Uh, number 10. Um, loads of number 10s you could go for across the Champions League. Um, who are you going to go with? I'm, I'm trying not to prompt people here because it's it's not fair to do it. And Kunku's getting a mention from Leipzig. De Bruyne is looking strong. Bruno's getting a few votes. Do 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 do. Right, we'll go De Bruyne then. And uh, who's your two wide players? Right and left. So you could go Salamane. Um, you could go with, you know, Mbappe Neymar. Um, Vinicius Junior is somebody that's done very well this season. Uh, I need two wide players. Salah and Mbappe is, uh, is a good one. Messi and Salah, says Jonathan. Um Salah, Benzema and Messi. We've not done the striker yet. Proctor's not played in the Champions League, so we can't put him in English. 
and amazingly, we can't put Goldbridge or Proctor in this uh, Champions League combined eleven. They they haven't played European football yet. It's criminal. Um, they're both sort of approaching sort of twenty eight, twenty nine now as well. I've loved that. I've loved that career mode. It's so good. And I think the way that we've aged the players as well is perfect for a five-year career. Um, if you know, you know. TUFC, TUFFC Ultra. So I'm getting a lot of Salah and Messi and I'm getting a few Salah and Bappes. I'm going to go with... Um, Well, who do you want to play with Salah? Because uh, there's no point in typing, getting people to type Salah. So Salah's definitely on the right. Who do you want on the left? Are you going to go Mbappe, Vinicius Jr., Sane, uh, Messi? Let me know. I'm going to do a project where I walk to every mental health hospital in London and give them messages of support and hope you will shout my, my idea, says the man like Dave Show. Lovely, lovely. I'm sure we will. And uh, let us know how we can spread a link or whatever if you're doing a, a fundraiser, which I'm sure you are. Kimmich has played two Champions League games. People don't watch it, says Tom. Yeah, it's not it's, it's not really about how they've performed in the Champions League. You can take that into account, but it's also about being in the Champions League. Like, I'm not, as I've said with these combined 11s, I'm not actually mad focused about how well they've performed in it, although obviously it helps. We're talking about the talent. Left wing Mbappe, right wing Salah, striker Ronaldo or Lewandowski, says Arjun. Um, let me just have a quick look. It's very difficult. I'm not really getting a definitive winner here. I'm going to go Mbappe. I'm going to go Mbappe based on the chat. So we've got Mbappe and Salah. Salah on the right, Mbappe on the left. Right, who's your striker? And I'll give you some shout-outs here. Obviously, Haaland, uh, Lewandowski, Benzema, Ronaldo. There's probably the four to choose from. Who would you have as your striker? Unfortunately, Lukaku won't be there. So it's, uh, this is probably the hardest, really. Hi, do you think Sancho will improve, Mark? Yeah, Luke, I do. I do. He's a talented player. It's, it's a bit. It's going on a bit longer than I thought. I, I thought he'd start slow, but I thought by now he'd be more consistent. Bruno has beat Kevin De Bruyne in every, everything this season, says Stuart Blyde. Um, Lewandowski's won it, which I can't argue with. I mean, Lewandowski's a, a very, very good player and he's performing. Although Ronaldo has performed in the Champions League unbelievably in a shit side. So your team is, your Champions League combined 11 is this. Mendy in goal, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Van Dijk, Marquinhos, Cancelo. Kante, Modric, De Bruyne, Salah, Mbappe, Lewandowski. It's not a bad side at all, is it? Not a bad side at all. Um, so, I think that I would put Ronaldo instead of Lewandowski. It's my choice. I would put um, Donnarumma over Mendy. I really like Donnarumma. Um I've not got a problem with the back four apart from that. My holding midfield, my midfield two would actually be Kimmich and Kante, not Modric and Kante. And uh, my number 10 would be De Bruyne. I'd agree with that. Um, Ronaldo instead of Lewandowski. And then Salah or Mbappe as my wide players. I actually quite like it. But... There's a massive part of me thinking about balance that would put Leroy Sane on the left-hand side because I know he'll whip across him. And when you've got players like Ronaldo in the middle, um, you know, Mbappe is not really a creator. He's a striker. And Salah's not a massive creator either. So.